Hi, James Blacklaws, JB Commercial Finance here. Um, I recently did a presentation I'm at an event um, for a friend of mine, a back to school presentation. I had a 45 minute section on dealing with maths or business finance. And I went through some of the some of the things you need to bear in mind of applying for finance for your business. And uh, amongst they're the usual things, you know, watching your profits, getting your information up to date and all that sort of stuff. One of the things I touched upon, and I, and I left it as my real takeaway for the day for, for the people who are in attendance, about 23 people I think it was, and that was about credit history. Now, back in the day, a lot of banks didn't credit score, um, certainly at a certain level on the business side, and a lot of people think that something that happens in their personal life shouldn't necessarily impact on their business when it comes to raising finance. The reality is that in my game, you're looking to raise finance for business, nothing could be further from the truth. Don't think that because you've got a CCJ in the personal life, it won't have an impact on your business, because it will. And if your business is looking to raise money, even if it's a limited liability um, company, then you having a poor credit history personally will still have a massive impact. And to be honest, I can't see the importance of credit scoring and credit history changing. More and more banks are making things automated, so you can apply for facilities about talking to anybody. And more and more, even of the more kind of um, niche lenders still require credit searches to be done and still require a certain level of score, if it's an experience or similar, or a certain level of um, fluidity with regard to the um, solvency of the business. So you can get that through credit, say through ratings, etc. etc. So the one takeaway I left on that day, and the one takeaway I'll leave on this video is protect your credit rating. It's one of the most important things you've got if you're in business. Don't ignore things, keep regularly on track with regard to checking on Experian, Equifax, Credit Safe, all these things, clear score, give you monthly reports, just a few pounds, sometimes they're free, and you can keep up to date with how your credit's performing, you get a score out of a thousand. It really couldn't be simpler to do. And you can make sure that if someone's abusing your credit file, if you missed a payment, you didn't know about it, you can rectify it quickly. Please don't stick your head in the sand. I don't want to be talking to you in three months time about a half a million pound loan to turn around and say, you know what, you missed your gas bill payment back in 2019 at the start of it, therefore can't help you. And believe me, that's not as strange as it sounds. Protect your credit history, treat it, wrap it up, make sure that you do everything right, you make your payments at the right times, you check it personally and for business. And this is another one. If you're in business of someone else who's not a family member, not a spouse, make sure they're aware of this as well. Because if you have two co-directors or two partners in the business and you're just friends, and one of them's got a poor credit history, it can potentially bring you down as well. Work as a team. So hopefully that's useful. Can't stress the importance of that though. I'm James Backle with Joby Commercial Finance. Tell everyone you know, protect their credit history and make sure that they know what to do to rectify it. Thank you very much.